Okay, we're back. Here we go again. So in these videos, I'm going to be running through with you how to use Trojan, which is a trading bot I use daily. I'm actually making a little series. In this video, I'm going to be going through just the general setup of Trojan and how to buy and sell tokens, how to read the notifications that it sends you. Um, we're going to be going through buying and selling settings um, like dollar cost averaging um, and limit orders. So you can buy at certain trigger prices and also copy trading. So these are all going to be in separate videos. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but I've actually spent the last three hours recording videos just to realize that my microphone wasn't turned on and everything had no volume whatsoever. So we're actually back now with volume after I um, after I tested it. That was a stupid mistake. Let's go to um, Trojan. As you can see, I was partway through recording uh, the copy trading video when I actually realized. Uh, so this is Trojan. So as you can see here, I've um, created a little wallet. Now what Trojan will do, if you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you to Trojan. Now you don't have to use the link in the description. It's an affiliate link or not an affiliate link. It's a referral link, um, but it's a safe link. Now I was screwed over before. If you just type in uh, Trojan, it will bring up um, a load of different um, what not on a new account. Obviously, I've used Trojan a lot, so it's going to bring up all the right accounts. But um, if you just search for it, you may fall for a, there was a scam Trojan account on here. Now don't be uh, don't be worried about the different names of the bots: uh, Hercules, Achilles, Paris, Diomedes. Trojan has various different servers. Uh, when one bot gets full, they will recommend that you use another one of their bots and they've named them different names. So you can distinguish between the two or the, the different ones. Um, but all your settings get transferred over. It just means that one uh, one of the bots that's full or is, is very active, um, it just can be a little bit slower. So just try a different bot if it's a bit slow. Um, now, if you click on buy, sell any of these buttons and a notif notification pops up saying you must send X amount of Solana to this wallet to fund your account before you start using it, that is a scam. That's that's fake. Trojan doesn't ever prompt you to fund your wallet. So don't do that. So what you'll be faced with is um, it will give you a wallet straight away. So what we're going to do straight away, we're going to go to settings, wallets, and as you can see here, these are a few wallets that I've got um, attached to this account. Um, so what you can do is you can click on the wallet here. Now this one I've named Jeet because I'm a Jeet. If you click on it, you can set it as your active wallet. Now, if it's your first wallet, it will be automatically set as active label. You can rename the wallet. Now, what I really want you to do is export private keys. Now you want to add this wallet to, um, to Phantom. Uh, what it means is basically you can use the wallet on phantom as well as on trojan uh, but what i like to do like i went over in the maestro video with um metamask is uh it's just easier for me to to send and receive solana um on phantom rather than trying to use the bot trying to use trojan uh, it also means if i get logged out of my telegram account i've still got um phantom on my phone so i can just send my solana elsewhere um but it's just another safety step that i like to use um, so now you've done that and we've set up phantom and you've also gone into the wallets and exported your private key perfect so you're going to be faced with um, some settings so if you click start and then you go to settings now i'll just run you through a few of these settings so fast and turbo and custom this is the amount of gas fee that you're prepared to use uh, if we click on turbo for example uh, let's just click on custom so what it does, it tells you here. So fast, if you're using fast, you'll use 0.0015 Solana per transaction. Turbo is 0.075. Obviously, the more you use, the faster your transaction will go through. So it's entirely up to you. I typically just stick to turbo just because it's nice and easy. It's quick. It gets me in. It gets me out. It's, it does its job. So if we just knock down a little bit, uh, buy settings. So here you can change the buy buttons. So when you paste a contract address into Trojan, um, you can amend these. Um, so if you're working with smaller amounts of soul or larger amounts of soul, and these don't really make a difference, um, then you really want to just change these. So let's just say we're playing with um, 100 Solana for whatever reason, click on 100, and then see that changes that button there to 100 rather than it being 10. Vice versa, if you want to go down, you want to only work with like 0.05 or whatever you want it to be then you can change these. 
Uh, slippage, I don't typically change the slippage. You can just leave that as it is. Um, what I like to do is if a transaction doesn't go through, then either up the gas fee slightly or up your slippage slightly. Whatever one works just fine. Uh, I typically tend to stick to between 5 and 10% slippage, but fine, 5 works fine for me. Sell settings, exactly the same. If you... Ralph. So if you are want to sell like different percentage amounts, then you can change these here. Again, slippage, I don't normally touch. Or I set to 5%. Uh, now mev protect buys and mev protect sells now you really do want to turn these on these are off by default now um, these are not a, a protection method what a mev is it's a computer program let's just say for example you're buying a hundred dollars of a token at 100k market cap and you do not have mev protect buys or sells on what what can happen is the mev will detect your buy and it will throw a huge amount of money at the chart just before your buy goes through so it will send the, the token, for example, from 100k market cap to 500k market cap. Your buy then goes through and then they sell immediately after your buy goes through. So it will go MEV buys, you buy, MEV sells. So your buy goes through at the top and the, knocks the price up, you know, $100. And then they sell that, that, that makes, a, the MEV makes $100. And you're instantly down like 90% or something stupid. I've seen like hundreds of thousands of dollar buys and sells from MEVs. It's unbelievable. Uh, they do not mess around. And I highly recommend that you have these ticked on. Uh, it basically puts your transaction through an extra step to try and hide your transaction. Um, auto buy. Uh, we'll run through these settings in another, in another video, in the buy video. Uh, at the minute it's off, but it basically means that when you paste a contract address, into the bot it will automatically buy it for you you can set the amount you can also change the wallets that you're using uh, change the slippage uh, and change things like uh, minimum liquidity so if you only want to buy uh, tokens with more than 100k in liquidity then you can change that there um, same with auto sell we're going to go through this in another video as well with different profiles um, you can set up different profiles to set stop losses to set take profit limits, stuff like that. So we're gonna go through that in another video. Confirm trades. Now what this does, if you tick this on, it will just add another step to your buy. So if you uh, enter a contract address, press buy, it will just make sure that, you're ha that, that, that you want to buy this amount and you just press yes. Um, I don't typically have this on, um, but it's good if you've got fat fingers and you just like smashing buttons, then you wanna make sure that that's on just to make sure you are buying the right amount you know let's just say for example you bought 10 slana of one token and then you the next token you're buying is a gamble and you only want to put 0.5 on it but you haven't changed the buy amount i've done that before actually and you end up buying like 10 solana of a token that you don't really want to buy and you're like oh shit what am i going to do now um so you're instantly trying to scramble around selling it before you get users exit liquidity uh pnl cards these are good these are just fun little quirky cards that pop up you can change these if you want with pnl values show negative cards it's just a little picture that comes up to say how well your trade did um you can have those on or off uh chart previews again when you paste a contract address into the bot it will come up with a little preview of the chart um to deck screener i don't typically have these on because there's another way that you can view the chart which i'm going to show you in a minute show and hide tokens um, if you get rugged on a token and you're down 90%, some people like to just sell the dust and leave it. Um, other people just like to leave it in their wallets. Now, if you want to just leave it in your wallet, but you don't want it showing on Trojan to remind you how terrible that day was, then you can hide the token. So if you're looking for those hidden tokens, it's going to be in this little box here. Wallets, obviously, we've been, we've been through wallets already uh, to get your private keys. So obviously, the more wallets you have, you can... Um, I think you can have 13 wallets attached to your Trojan account. Um, under here, you can change the name of them. You can get your private keys. You can select your active wallet. Um, sell protection. Uh, again, this is similar to confirm trades. So uh, if you're selling more than 50% of your bag, uh, then it will just give you a little pop-up to say are you sure you want to sell this it's quite a lot of your portfolio so obviously that there is under advanced mode so if you want to make sure that advanced mode is selected and you can see simple mode uh, then this is all the advanced settings you need so that is that basically that's just a quick rundown of the settings each one what they do now what we're going to do now is we're going to buy a token uh, i already bought this and sold it so i'm buying it and selling it again 
Yay. I actually think I bought it. Yeah, let's just do something funny quickly. Uh, where is it? Paste. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, this is this is the two different videos I've already recorded on this one token. So uh, yeah, anyway, funny, 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 funny over. Um, so we're gonna just take this token. Actually, I need it back up. We're gonna copy the contract address. So obviously you can take a contract address from anywhere. You can also take the link. So if you if you just grab the deck screener link, you can also paste that in Trojan. Or if your favorite call or call group, whatever it might be. Um, sends a message or with a lot of word in and then the contract address at the bottom instead of fiddling around just trying to copy the contract address you can just copy the whole message and then add it into Trojan and just paste the whole message in Trojan so obviously that's the contract address um, and then if I just do this control C let me just show you this as well so then obviously this is the link to deck screener it will just do the same thing okay so you don't have to worry about just pasting the contract address. You can paste like a long list of whatever. I mean, if I just put a load of rubbish here and then uh, paste that, it'll just do the same thing. So this is obviously the buy window. Now, um, here you'll see uh, buy uh, broccoli. Now, broccoli, so CZ Binance today has decided that he's going to release the name of his dog. So every man, wife and child has decided to launch a token called broccoli. I've seen like 15 launch in five minutes and I've seen 20 rugs. So it's just been carnage today. Uh, it'll give you the ticker. Uh, it'll give you a little link to the chart and then it will give you a little link to the bubble maps as well. If you wanted to check that out to see like the distribution of tokens across multiple wallets. Now, this is the contract address balance. It just tells you your wallet balance and what wallet you're going to be buying from. You can change this here under these buttons uh, by clicking the um, the little cog. It will bring up your other wallet so you can tick um, configure bundle. If you configure bundle, you can select multiple wallets to buy the same token. Uh, we're not going to do that now. We're just going to click swap for now. And let's just say I want to buy 0.1 Solana of this token. 5% slippage which is the default we've already set that up in the settings and we click buy and that is literally it guys obviously if auto buy was on you would just need to paste the contract address hit enter and it would buy it automatically for you so as you can see here uh it's bought that for us by success happy days we've bought 6,000 tokens of broccoli which is about 20 dollars um, so now if you click uh, view tokens or failing that go to menu and positions as you can see here our balance has changed to 0.8 solana our positions have changed and we've actually got 0.1 sol in active positions now so if you buy multiple tokens more than one of these is going to come up here so obviously we only hold one token in this wallet at the minute uh broccoli it just tells you how much it's worth the contract address uh the price and market cap of the token at the minute uh average entry which is the uh the your average entry um on your purchase now if you've um bought multiple times on the way down your average does change which is really good which is really what i like about trojan over maestro is that it actually shows you what market cap you got in at whereas maestro doesn't show you that which is a bit annoying uh balance it shows you how many tokens you hold now because we've only bought 20 dollars, it's not showing it but normally you probably see next to this it will have like a little bracket uh, with a percentage in and it will just show you how much of the supply you hold so obviously because we hold so little uh it's not showing it here but it'd say you know 0 0.1 or 0 0.02 or whatever or one percent of the supply whatever it is uh underneath that you've got buys so it shows you how much you've bought and in how many transactions so over you we've bought 0 0.1 sold over one buy sales na we haven't made any sales yet so it's not going to show that here PL USD, it tells you how much you're up or down. And PL Sol, again, it shows you how much you're down, up or down in Solana. PL card, if you want to click that, it will just give you a little PL card. So the buttons underneath buy 0.5 Sol, buy 1 Sol, buy X Sol. So obviously you can buy again. So if this does come down anymore, then it, I might consider dollar cost averaging and buying a little bit more of my position in this token. And you can do that here by clicking buy X Sol with a pencil. This will allow you to enter the amount that you want to buy, enter sole amount. So you can just change that to whatever you want if it's not 0.5 and not one sole that you want to buy. Underneath that, now, like I said earlier, when if you've got multiple trades open, they'll be they will all show here. So at the minute we've only in broccoli, but if we're in like Pepe on Sol, for example, it will show another button next to broccoli, Pepe on Sol. So when you're coming to sell or buy, 
uh, a particular token, you want to make sure that the token that you want to interact with is ticked to here. If you tick another token and you want to buy Pepe, then it's going to buy the whatever one that's ticked. So just make sure that you you recognize that because uh, I've done that before where I've um, accidentally sold the wrong token and that screwed me over. So just make sure that the one that you want to interact with is ticked. Uh, sell 50%, sell 100%, sell initials. I mean, these are very self-explanatory. Obviously, if you want to sell 50% of your bag, then just click 50. If you want to sell your initials, whatever you put in originally, then just sell initials. Uh, sell X percent with the pencil. That is obviously if you only want to smell a, a sell percentage of your bag or a larger percent, you can just change this. If you click the pencil and you want to put in 75%, just click 75 and then hit enter and that will sell 75% of the bag. So that's the buy window, guys. So this is fairly self-explanatory. Obviously, hit from here, if you want to click the little chart symbol, it will bring up the chart. But what this also does, which is really good, is it enters your wallet address into um, deck screener automatically. So you can actually see when you bought and sold on the chart, which I think is really neat. I really like that feature about this. Obviously, if you want to refresh this trade window under here, you just click refresh and that is it. And it'll update it. Whereas obviously with Maestro, you've got like a timer on it. And if you don't refresh it within that certain time period, it will just disappear. Whereas Trojan doesn't do that. I could just now leave this wallet for three or four weeks, come back to it, hit refresh, and it will just stay there and it will just show me my updated PL. So obviously, as you can see now, we're down slightly on this trade by 7%, which is a dollar and fifty. And it will show you what you're what you're down in Solana as well. So let's just say we come to sell this. So if I want to just sell 100% of the position, I'll just click sell 100%, and that's all gone through. It'll also give you a really nice little PL card to tell you how much you're up or down. And in this case, we have lost, which is fine. It's a tutorial. I'm not salty. <laughs> Obviously, if you want to turn this off, you can go into settings and go into the PL card in the settings. But for that, guys, um, that's about it for Trojan for now. Obviously, I'm going to go into some deeper um, selling uh, setups and buying setups, um, setting up take profits and stuff in another video. But I just wanted to get you set up, get you familiar with the settings, make sure you've got the right ones ticked. So if you do want to try Trojan, guys, I highly recommend it. It's a bot that I use daily. I will just go to the link in the description and just and just use my um, link to make sure it's safe. Obviously, it's a referral link. Um, all bots charge. I think it's bet it's sort of between one and two percent. I know that Trojan charge one percent per buy and sell. Now, out of that one percent, if you use someone's referral link, um, they will get a small piece of that one percent pie. So you're going to inevitably be using or be um, sending one percent of each buy and sell. Um, it doesn't cost you any more by using that link. It just helps me out a little bit. So I would really appreciate that, guys. Um, there'll be a link in the description. There's also going to be a link in the description to um, my Simply Blockchain community chat. So if you've got any questions or you need anything answering, the best way to get in contact with me is, is through the link in the description. It'll bring you here and you can join as a member and everyone just helps each other out. I mean, there's been a few calls today that have done quite well. So that's really good. So yeah, guys, if you could uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. The Maestro done, the Maestro video has done really, really well, which is why I wanted to get some Trojan videos out there for you guys. Join the chat, come and talk to me. If you need any help with anything, then let me know. Links in the description to everything, guys. But for that, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.